Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, you guys, I have an affordable skincare video for you guys. I am going to be reviewing the top rated affordable sunscreens from Amazon, you guys. So I got three sunscreens today that we are going to be reviewing. So the first one, you guys, is the Neutrogena Ultra Share Dry Touch Sunscreen. Um, this has an SPF of 70. The second one is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. This is all day hydration, okay? And it has an SPF of 60. And then we have, last but not least, we have the Cetaphil Sun 50 Sheer Mineral Sunscreen screen stick it has an SPF of 50 you guys so I'm super excited to review these sunscreens for you guys today as you guys know I like to bring y'all skincare content but I don't like to break the bank to do so like I don't feel like you have to break the bank to have amazing skin unless you have like some deeper issue or some type of skin disorder some skin disease like I really think you can go with affordable and really get nice skin or get the benefits of certain things without really breaking the bank okay so as you guys know sunscreen is super important it's like at this point if my brown and my black sisters and brothers aren't wearing sunscreen it's like baby what are you doing like this is probably the best thing out now for anti-aging and also it helps to reduce your chances of getting skin cancer so it's definitely a win-win so when you're looking at sunscreens you definitely want to get a broad spectrum sunscreen because if you guys don't know the sun emits uva uvb and uvc uvc does not reach the earth but uva and uvb does so you want a sunscreen that is going to protect you against both okay so all of these are broad spectrum sunscreens and they will protect you from UVA and also UVB as far as the SPF quantity okay all the SPF that I got are above 50 okay so if you really do your research on sunscreens you have dermatologists they'll suggest to get like sunscreens that are above 30 so meaning like you take that 30 and you multiply that by 10 and that's the amount of minutes that you can wear that sunscreen before you reapply generally i feel like spf 50 60 and 70 are getting quite popular but when you look at the research you will see that once you get to spf 50 spf 60 spf 70 they're pretty much the same in percentage for protecting against the UV rays. For example, I'm just throwing some numbers out there, but my numbers are pretty close. Um, say for instance, SPF 50 might protect you from 98% of the UV rays. SPF 60 might protect you from 98.1, and SPF 70 might protect you from 98. Point three. So it's not a significant difference. If you go into a store and you see an SPF 50 sunscreen selling for $20 and then you see an SPF 70 sunscreen selling for $80, just go ahead and get the SPF 50. Like you don't need to break the bank to get the higher numbers okay all right guys so the first sunscreen that i am going to be reviewing is the cetaphil sun 50 share mineral sunscreen stick y'all if i knew it came into a stick i probably wouldn't have purchased this um just because i think i prefer like just the cream version but this is formulated for sensitive skin i feel like most of cetaphil's products are formulated for sensitive skin so definitely keep that in mind um it is water resistance for 80 minutes and it does have vitamin e added to it Ooh, so this is how it looks right out of the packaging. You guys see that? That's how it looks. So it's like a roll-on type thing. And then I'm guessing you just start to... Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put it on. I'm already seeing a white coat. Which, am I surprised? Hold on, is this the one with the... Oh yeah, this is the one with the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide. So that's the one that usually leaves like a white coating. Okay, let's rub this in. Let's see how it looks. Hmm. Yeah. It's kind of hard to believe that this one was one of the highest rating ones, I will say. Um, yeah, it does feel very greasy, I'll say that much. 
um, and it is leaving a white cast. But as I said, the ingredients permit for that. Um, titanium and dioxide and zinc oxide generally leaves this white cast. So it's not really formulated to go into your skin. It's like when the UV rays come down, it just kind of bounces off of it, okay? So that's why that is like that. But it does definitely leave a white cast. So this isn't something that I would recommend. <laughs> for my brown um brothers and sisters okay um if you're wearing makeup over this maybe you can get away with it or if you go to the beach and you're okay with your face having a little bit of a cast then you're fine but if you're going you know day to day you want to do that natural look where you just add your moisturizer add your sunscreen and go this wouldn't be ideal for you let me come up close so you can see The other two sunscreens, they don't have the titanium dioxide or the zinc oxide, so I'm not expecting this. I think I did buy this because it did say it was a sheer sunscreen, so I was just thinking that it was just gonna be sheer on my skin, but my bad, I should've just known that by the ingredients, I was going to have some type of white cast, but um, it's not the worst white cast ever, I'll say that. Not the worst, but still, as a black woman, I don't want to have any type of cast on my face. Like, I'm not trying to look like Casper, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, definitely a no-go for this one, but let's get into the other All right, two. guys, so I am back, and I did go ahead and rinse off my skin. I did want to mention, even though I don't, you know, recommend this one because it's in stick form and it also leaves the white cast, I will say this one was super inexpensive. It was the most inexpensive one. It was $7.44. And also, you guys, I did go and just wash my face off, and I'm just adding the Believe True Cream Aqua Balm. This has me in a chokehold right now. I love it. Um, so this is what I use for my moisturizer. So I'm just going to add a little bit on my face before I add the second sunscreen, which will be the Aveeno. <laughs> will be the Aveeno sunscreen. All right. All right. We're all set. All right, y'all. So as I said, the next sunscreen on the list is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. This is also a broad spectrum sunscreen. It protects against UVA and UVB, and it's supposed to be all day, all day, all day hydration, okay? And then this one is the SPF 60, and it's supposed to be sweat and water resistant, all right? So, um, the consistency of this one was super thick. This one is a little bit more watery. As you guys can see, it just kind of fell right out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on my face. The, I don't expect this one to leave a white cast, but let's see. Ooh. I like this one. Wow. And it also smells really, really good. This one was for $8.52, so still pretty inexpensive as well. Y'all, I like this one. Honey, I am glowing. What? It doesn't feel sticky. Ooh, it almost feels like my moisturizer, if I'm being real about it. Ah. Oh. Y'all, I love this one. It feels really good. It feels really lightweight. I love that it is sheer. There is no white cast, which is beautiful. And my skin is glowing. Like, when I go out and I have no makeup on, like, this is the look that I want to achieve, you know? So I definitely do like this one. And this one is SPF 60, so you're able to wear this one for about 600 minutes <laughs> before you reapply. So this is really, really good. I'm gonna give it a few minutes. I'm gonna give it about five minutes and then come back so that you guys can see how it looks after a little bit of time. All right guys, so it's been about 10 minutes and I wanted to just come back and show you guys my skin. As you guys can see, my skin isn't as glossy as it was before. It kind of toned down, which is absolutely perfect, but I still have a really nice glow to me. Y'all, right now, Aveeno is at a 10 out of 10, okay? As you guys know, Aveeno is one of those brands where you trust. A lot of people like go to Aveeno when you have more sensitive skin and you have like little skin concerns, usually like go to Aveeno, y'all. 
10 out of 10 right now, okay? I have a really nice low to me. This is affordable. It was only $8.52. Like, it gets no better than that. A little bit also goes a long way. Like, I didn't have to use a lot to get the protection that I need. So, highly recommend. I also feel like this is something that you can use on your whole body as well and not fear that it's going to run out really quickly. Like, with this one from Cetaphil, this isn't something that I'll be able to use on my entire body without worrying about it running out. But, um... Um, this one is like it a little bit really really does go a long way so I really really like this you guys definitely put it on your docket if you guys are looking for affordable skincare affordable sunscreen so I'm about to prep my face for the last sunscreen which is the Neutrogena so I'll be right back all right guys so I am back I went ahead and just rinsed off my skin as I told you guys and I'm just gonna add a little bit of my belief aqua bomb moisturizer on my face love this stuff and then i'm gonna get into the review for neutrogena all right we're good all right we're all good all right so the next next up is the neutrogena ultra share dry touch sunscreen this one is supposed to provide a lightweight clean feel so let's see if we can accomplish that all right so this one's a little bit thicker than the Aveeno, not even a little bit, a lot of it. This is the consistency of most sunscreens on the market, I feel. Like, kind of have that thickness to it, as you guys can see. That's low drip. So I'm just gonna put like, maybe like a dime size, not too much, or quarter size in my hand. A little bit in my hand and just apply that to my face. Have high hopes for the Neutrogena one because it has the same ingredients as the Aveeno one, just in different percentages. So let's see how well this works on my skin. Well, I need a little bit more. Ooh, a little don't go a long way with this, y'all, because it's so thick. You need actually quite a bit. All right. So thick. Wait. Do y'all see a cast? I'm thinking I see a carrot. Hold on, Neutrogena. Y'all, I'm literally stunned right now because why I look like the ghost from Christmas past, honey? Why is my face white right now? This does not have the titanium dioxide or the zinc oxide like this one so I expected it with this one but with this one I was not expecting that because it literally has the same active ingredients as this one so this one is very much so formulated better this is the Aveeno y'all I ain't gonna lie to y'all I'm a little disappointed like I was not expecting this not from Neutrogena, and I really think this one, if I'm not mistaken, this one was like maybe a 4.8. I think this one was the highest rated one, but not for black people or brown people at all. <sighs> Y'all, definitely disappointed in the Neutrogena, but I can say that, you know, we have a winner here with the Aveeno. Um, I'm just, do you understand? Because I don't you know um was not expecting this at all this one has more of a cast than the cetaphil which is crazy and this one is super thick um yeah if you can feel it on your face like it's definitely not lightweight it says it's supposed to give you like that lightweight clean feel and it's giving me the complete opposite you know like how when you wear makeup all day and you get to the point where you're like oh my god i just need this off my face this is what this feels like this is exactly what this feels like it just feels kind of heavy i feel like there's something on my face and of course girl i'm giving casper so that's already another flaw this one was also 852 as well but you can get better for the same price. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my face and come back and give y'all the final review. All right guys, so I am back. I am closing out today's video. So as you guys can see, we did have a winner. Ding, 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 ding. The Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. Definitely y'all, 10 out of 10, okay? This, I understand why this is a top rated sunscreen. As far as the others, 
that Neutrogena was a little disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. The Cetaphil one, I you know I could I can see why you know my face did turn white. Even though it says it's supposed to be a sheer mineral sunscreen, I understand why it turned white because of the ingredients. But when it comes to Neutrogena, y'all, I don't understand. When I say I don't understand, I don't understand because it literally has the same ingredients or the same active ingredients excuse me as the Aveeno so I'm like where did they go wrong with this formula it's not adding up the only difference between the Neutrogena and the Aveeno is one of the active ingredients which is the homosalate. it's 15% in the Neutrogena and it's 13.5% in the Aveeno but still they're all the same you know active ingredients so I'm not sure why there's such a huge difference between the two you guys um but yeah very disappointed with this I think it's my fault though because I went into this with expectations I really thought Neutrogena was gonna come out on top I did I did I just knew it had to but the Aveeno is the winner so for all my black girls Girls and my brown girls out there if you guys are looking for a good affordable sunscreen I'll say try this one this one really surprised me I love how it feels on my face I love that it was only eight dollars and fifty two cents you cannot beat that and a little goes a long way with this one so definitely try this out come back to the comments and let me know your results all right so that is it for today's video you guys if y'all want to see me do like a part two to this video or if you want me to do a worse review sunscreens on Amazon definitely just comment down below what you like to see and I will definitely go out purchase them so that I can do the video thank you guys for watching as always and I'll see you guys in the next one bye